so here we have four metronome penguins, uh, which can e each be set to oscillate. So let's start them up. One, two, three. So here they are. They all have the same period, but they all have slightly different phases. But let's wait and see what happens when we let them all go together for a while. So as you can see, they've all synced up and are now shaking together. So they have the same period and now they all have the same phase. So why is that? Well, you may have noticed that they're sitting on this platform and the platform has little cans underneath it. So if you're going to try this from home, you're going to need to have something that can move back and forth. So if you have a metronome, and it has a certain period, it's going to keep that periodicity if it's sitting on a table. However, if it's sitting on a moving platform, a couple of things to notice. One is that just the shaking of the mass of the metronome is moving the table a little bit. And another thing to notice is that if I move the table, I can really change the motion of the, of the metronome and its periodicity. So, if there were two metronomes, like these two guys, I put a friend near, and they start out. So, each one is moving the table a little bit, and it's also affecting the motion of the other metronome until, indeed, they come into sync. The platform forms a connection, which, uh, which is what allows them to sync up. If I were to hold the platform steady and not allow them to move and wait a little while, then they lose that phase. They're no longer in phase. They have to be connected by a movable platform so that, that that shaking can affect the other one. And they're back in phase again. <laughs> okay.